The word for today, there is power in peace. The fruit of righteousness is sown in peace. James 3, 18. Satan knows that God's word can only be received by a heart and mind that are at peace. So he will do everything he can to keep you upset. He loves it when you get into an argument just before church and spend the entire service feeling bad. That's why you must do whatever it takes to keep your peace. There is power in peace. If the devil can't get you upset, he has no power over you. He only gains control when you lose it. He keeps you upset in order to steal your peace, confuse you, and make you run in circles. Don't let him do it. Next time you get worked up about some issue, stop and ask yourself, what's the enemy trying to do here? If I give in to these emotions, what will the result be? When you're stressed out, you lose your joy. And when you lose your joy, you lose your strength because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Nehemiah 8, 10. So it's essential that you exercise self-control and try to keep your peace. The Bible says, the wisdom that is from above is peaceable. James 3, 17. Another Bible version says, but the wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure and full of quiet gentleness, peace-loving and courteous. It allows discussion and is willing to yield to others. It is full of mercy and good deeds. It is wholehearted and straightforward and sincere. And those who are peacemakers will plant seeds of peace and reap a harvest of goodness. James 3, 17-18 Getting along with others can be hard work, but it's worth it to have peace. That is the word for today.